Christmas has become a tough time of year for Christians in the West Bank and Gaza. This shrinking minority amongst Palestinians is marking the festival with concern over religious strife. Just over a year ago, Rami Ayad, the manager of a Christian bookshop in the Gaza Strip, was murdered. Muslims said he was engaged in missionary activity. Christians did not believe that such a thing would happen uh, in the Gaza Strip, in a place where we've been living with Muslims all our lives. And to some extent there is a kind of denial even now uh, among the Christians that, you know, he was killed because it was just an accident or something. Uh, but to, to others, they feel that the threat is there. They feel that the effect of 9-11 and what happened in the States and the war and terrorism and all this uh, a turmoil that's taking place uh, here in the Holy Land and in the Middle East is getting closer to the Christian community, to the Palestinian Christian community that's living in the country. In this Christian bookshop in Jerusalem's old city, business is seemingly stable, but those in the know attest to a sense of growing anxiety among the local Christian population. The number of Christians in the Palestinian territories has dropped dramatically over the past decade, they say this is a result of religious and politically motivated persecution. Many are seeking better lives outside the Middle East. The thing that breaks my heart is that up to this day I still meet Americans who come to the Holy Land. And when I say that I'm a Palestinian Christian, they're shocked to know the fact that there are Palestinian Christians in existence. They ask me, uh, so when did you become a Christian? Were you Jewish? Were you Muslim? Uh, and I try to explain to them that on the day of Pentecost, the, the apostles were very close to here near the Holy Sepulchre Church, and they received the Holy Spirit, and they were the first Christians in the country. And still, the Christians here are suffering very, very much and quite a lot. So just remember them this Christmas. Remember them with your prayers, with your support, and uh, keep us in mind.